All right, in this lecture, we're going to talk about newplot.py, which is a Python interface to newplot. Uh, we've learned, been learning about NumPy and uh, SciPy and the data structures uh, that we can use there, but we haven't talked about a way to visualize anything that we've created. So uh, this is one way. In the next lecture, we're going to talk about another way, uh, matplotlib or matplotlib. But uh, the nice thing about newplot.py is that if you know newplot, you, you basically don't have to learn anything new, any new commands, and you can be up and running uh, looking at data relatively quickly. So as I said, it's just a Python interface to newplot. So the dependencies, of course, uh, made you know, it's probably obvious, but you have to have Python. You also need NumPy installed, and you need a, a version of newplot on your uh, installed on your computer uh, because it Python actually uh, in the background even though you you won't realize it it, it calls an instance to a new plot through a pipe um, so what this allows is that you can do your computations in Python say with numpy or scipy and then even interactively uh, you can create plots using new plot and then uh, you know using all the commands and other things that we've learned about new plot um, also you can then export the new plot uh, file uh, such that you can, uh, you know, create the, the EPS LaTeX file or whatever that we, like we've talked about previously. So, to get started, uh, like other modules in, in, uh, like other modules, you, you'll have to import uh, new plot as, as so, uh, you know, using this command. Um, you could also issue, you know, say like as uh, GP or something, so you don't have to type out new plot every time. Um, but then to start using it, you need to instantiate a new plot object. And so the object here is going to be stored as a variable G, but that could be anything. It could be, uh, you know, F or H or, you know, any, any unique variable name. Um, if you issue the uh, persist command, uh, if, if persist is set to 1, then the X11 window, if you're running it interactively, uh, the X11 window will remain open after the Python session is closed. So if you uh, embed this as a script and you just run the Python script, the X11 window will, uh, if without uh, persist equal to one, the X11 window will open and close so fast that you won't even see it. Uh, so if you're kind of running this as a non-interactive script, you need to make sure and issue this persist equals one when you instantiate the object. Uh, otherwise, uh, you won't even be able to see the, out, the uh, plot screen. So then to, to, to uh, plot, you, you basically, uh, in, the, in the most basic form, all you have to do uh, is issue this, uh, set up some data. So if uh, G is the is the no, uh, new plot object. Then you just say uh, D G dot data, and then you'd fill in the, the what's in the, the arguments of the data function uh, or the data method. You'd fill in with your data. So where X and Y could be NumPy arrays, and then you're going to issue the plot directives as you would in new plot. So we would say with and uh, notice the underscore here. That's important because in Python with uh, is a keyword, so uh, the, the underscore is to differentiate it from the Python keyword. But anyway, you, so you'd say with, in this in case, you know, lines, points, color, RGB, blue would produce a blue line, okay? Um, we could also then go on and issue other directives like using or title. All the, uh, uh, that's a uh, title. So all, all the other things that you would normally put on the plot line uh, with a new plot, you you'd put in this uh, data command. And then if you want to visualize that plot, you just issue the command, uh, the method g.plot. And then as an argument to that, it takes the data. So you can have more than one. So you could have, if you had one, you know, data one, data two, uh, for example, then it would plot two lines. Other formatting commands can be uh, issued, so, you know, any other commands that you want to use for formatting, like setting up a grid, an X label, uh, X ticks, all of these things that you'd normally have in your new plot script, uh, if you want to issue them, you can 
you can then uh, set them up using this command again where G is the new plot object. So if we look at a full example, <coughs> here we would uh, basically create a linear space and then uh, which would be our x data values. Then we're going to create two sets of y data values. One is just x squared and the other one is this function of sine. Then we we'll in instantiate the new plot object, uh, create the data one which includes y1, uh, the second data which includes y2, then here I have some different plot directives. So in the first one, I'm going to say with lines points, uh, and the title is D1, and the second one with lines, and the title is D2. A uh, couple of formatting options. We're going to set grid and set the key on the left sa side, and then uh, we'll go ahead and issue the plot command. And if we do that, uh, this is the output we get. So this is x squared, of course, and then this is that function of sine. So I'll just go ahead and give you an example as well in the terminal so we can see how you might run it interactively. So first we'll run, we'll run Python. We need to import uh, NumPy as MP and new plot as well. Uh, we'll first just uh, set up a NumPy array. Uh, just a sequence of 100 numbers and We'll square those for our y dot value. Then we'll set up the new plot object, set up some data, and at a minimum, that's all we need to do. But maybe if we want to plot it with lines, we we'll do something like this. Sorry, this actually needs to be new plot. And then we just say d, g dot plot d. And there's our plot. So this is a way we can, you know, quickly, uh, interactively visualize our data by uh, piping it over to new plot. And the nice thing is, is that if you already know new plot, you can be up and running this in just a few minutes. Thanks.